This morning on today's American Story with Bob Dotson, a Nobel Prize winner from the University of Utah, whose childhood struggle skills, survivor skills rather, may someday help cure cancer. Let me see if I can find them. Think losing your keys is a big deal? Mario Capecchi has misplaced his Nobel Prize. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you keep them under your pants? <laughs> well, fame is not the most important thing on Mario's mind. His wife, Lori, has some bigger news. He got a Nobel Prize, and then two years later, I was diagnosed with cancer. It's okay. Ironically, Mario won his Nobel for giving science a blueprint to control the spread of that dreaded disease. So this is a model, essentially, for uh, cancer. Now, Capecchi's quest to find a cure is personal. You know, sometimes you have to be forced to do something. I mean, you, you know, you're put into a situation and then you have to make do. You know, I think that's not a bad lesson in life. A lesson Mario learned early. He was the son of a single mom, a poet who thought she could defeat the Nazis with her pen. During World War II, Lucy Ramberg was snatched from their home in the Italian Alps and sent to a concentration camp. Mario ended up on the streets, wandering from village to village. How would a four-year-old survive on the street during a war? A shelter is no problem. There are lots of bombed out houses. But what you're really concerned with is just food. Which he patiently tracked with a hunter's eye. You have to see who's guarding the food, and then see when, what their patterns are, and it's, you know that develops a lot of patience. How did Oliver Twist become Albert Einstein? <laughs> well, I wish. Oh, that would be terrific. At war's end, he was sick and starving. You know, I'm sure that if I'd stayed in Italy, you know, I'd be in jail somewhere or else I'd be dead. But Mario's mother found him in a hospital. She had searched nearly a year for her lost son. Frankly, I didn't recognize her. She had aged enormously. But she too had survived. Lucy bought him new clothes. Went to Rome, had my first bath in, you know, in, in six years. <laughs> Mario and his mom ended up in a Quaker commune in Philadelphia. He was nine years old, couldn't speak English, and had never been to school. An ordeal like that could scar a kid for life. But one of his teachers gave him paint and let him communicate with a mural. The first of many who found a way to help him dream. Giving a child an opportunity to have dreams and then to be able to go after those dreams. And that's what the United States gave him. Capecchi would pay back America's kindness. He became a grad student working with Dr. James Watson, one of the scientists who discovered DNA. Now, Watson believes Capecchi's breakthrough studies may help us conquer cancer in the next decade. If so... Mario's work will be one of the key points which enabled us. You know, we couldn't have really had the courage to try and conquer cancer if you hadn't had that. He may have already helped save Lori's life. I've just had some blood tests and the, the results were good. And he's st still in the process of recovery, but, you know, everything looks terrific. It intrigues me whether you think he succeeded despite his ordeal or because of it. I think that he has succeeded because of it. I think it's definitely part of him. It's part of who he is. Like many immigrants, Mario Capecchi thought America's streets would be paved with gold. And what I saw was actually much more than that, and that is opportunity. An opportunity despite his ordeal, to save a lot of lives. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Salt Lake City, Utah. A wonderful American, too. Thanks so Beautiful much, Bob. Beautiful story. All right, well, switching gears here. If Diamonds are a girl's best friend, this one certainly takes the cake. It's a 31.06 carat Whittlespack Graph Diamond. And starting on Thursday, it's going to be on display at the American Museum of Natural History here in New York. And Henry Bargijan is the president and CEO of Graph Holdings. Henry, good morning. So nice to have you good here. Good 